Hello, welcome everybody. This is Ahmed Nasser from Stereo 007 at YouTube. In this tutorial, we're gonna show you uh, some of the newest and great ideas jQuery plugins known as Require GS. Uh, we're not gonna use only Require GS. We're gonna also use Require CSS, Require images, Require everything almost. So, what do I mean by require GS? Require GS is a jQuery plugin, as I said. It's allow you to load resources in synchronously. So you can load resource after the page loaded at once. I mean, at once you have this require GS plugin that's gonna load all the resources for you one after another in a very awesome way so let's take a demo about this awesome plugin before we before we get started as i said don't forget to subscribe our channel and this is is the tutorial source code that we're gonna cover all right you're gonna download it check the demo here this is our demo page nothing fancy we just got script that require require JS and also we have a main script, a main driver, or let me say a data main which is called directly after requiring require JS. So what do we mean by main pelt.js? If you open the file GS main pelt open it up you gotta have we have all the resources the CSS the JavaScript all these resources are loaded in just this file so require GS gonna load for us jQuery gonna load for us CSS and gonna load for us Google font so how do we use require GS first thing in you have to define the resources in this case by default we use JavaScript we don't need any annotation before like we use with CSS and images we just type JavaScript the file name so we have this file name we have this font as JavaScript and we have also this CSS but note here the CSS is different we use CSS not CSS sample because this is is the notation for the CSS alright so we load the font first next we load the CSS lost or semi lost we load the jQuery and after that we load stuff so what do we mean by this load stuff load stuff is not defined here but it's a JavaScript file located in the location where main pelt is located. So if you open the files, you're gonna see here we got this load G required JS. We have a file here called load stuff. So we have two function here, two anonymous function. The first function that we define is related to load stuff. So we're gonna return a string contains header one so when you print out here when we finish loading we're gonna fire up this function or we'll call back this function this call back gonna take the parameters of font as ft you can name it whatever css is c and ns is jquery and S for load stuff so we gotta fire load stuff we're gonna take the value from load stuff this function forget about the second one we're gonna take the value from this and pass it from over there by loaded up using, using require and then print it out on the screen with alert statement so if you go to demo the rest demo click Chrome you're gonna see here we got phone CSS and JavaScript has have been loaded. Let's see the text. The text 
until this moment is not loaded but after I click OK it gonna load it up so click OK you see here we loaded the font from Google and also we printed out the result of calling the loaded stuff so what about if you need to call another function you can make another load stuff 2 load stuff 3 and include it in main pelt here or you can define another NMS function and give it a name as we did here load second stuff so I just need to copy this parameter come back to here type the name and give it for example AA and come here top plus AA save come back to the page reload we got an error this is a very nice error why because uh, we have something wrong uh, AA AA is here so let me be, make a distance save it save it and come back here click enter we got a knitter because say that this resource is not defined so you can stop the JS so in order to solve this uh, what we can do here is basically come in here back to load stuff alright second stuff save it come here make sure we got the latest changes so it's a problem, it's a normal problem. You cannot do that, but sometimes it works, at least for me. But in this case it's won't it won't work. So um I can do it differently by using <sighs> something similar to load stuff. Alright give it um let me check the parameters one two three all right seems good let me just remove this minus from here and see like this control shift r in order to to resolve the problem as you can see here we solved the problem because we need to um we need to uh, this we need to uh cache the page so so all the time when you try to work with javascript try to click on control shift r so when you click on control shift r you gonna um you gonna have a new cache so uh, that's why <laughs> we got this problem so this is pretty much about this video how you could load uh, uh, script, CSS, um, phone, and stuff like that using this required JS plugin. We have other demos, other files, other stuff here. If you open up uh, examples, we have an example how to load um, font. We saw, saw that. You can see here we load this font. Uh, how to use how to load images using uh, required JS and how to load JSON data using required JS how to load um, other things like um, like maps so uh, you can see a lot of things here Google if you want to use Google in order to load uh, geo chart and stuff like that you can see this is is this is from Google using required JS. So you can open the source code and check it how it works. For, for example, if you open uh, Google um, example here, you can see here we wait for 15 seconds enough to load all the scripts. We use a synchronous calling to Google 
and we got everything here as you can see here we require uh, visualization packages from Google we uh, draw something on the screen all that is done using require callback function all right this is pretty much guys about require GS you can see also another example about how to load images so this is another example you define for example you require images by using image type the link of the image and after that you call back the function we got this second image here awesome next you append it to the wrapper which is known as wrapper I got an ID so if we run this in the screen you can click running Chrome we got this um, picture it just like there just there open this another image you can see here we got it we got it guys so this is is different way in order to load Java JS files I like it I use it very much you, you can show you can see this um, example here I'm just designing this app quick app form builder nothing fancy so you if you open this file you're gonna see here we just got two JavaScript files all the CSS everything in this page is included in the required JS I don't provide any JavaScript any CSS inside the page it's just pure HTML page nothing inside this is is really pretty much awesome it's just like module uh, module like you say uh, manager for you so you put all the dependencies all the files in the loader and that's it um, all right guys I hope you like this video thank you guys again for watching this tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel stereo 007 and see you in other videos